right, today we're going to be um, working on this exhaust again. So you guys would have seen the other day me installing the Xbox 3 inch Xbox exhaust. But um, after removing the one off the spare blue car, we've come to realization that this one here is actually a full 3 inch all the way through. So 3 inch, 3 inch, 3 inch, 3 inch rear mufflers, 3 inch wire pipe all down the rear as well. Um, and this one, these mufflers are actually sort of like a like a like an old trick style so they're just a straight through the ones on the car is they're they're just like a standard oem you can't really see but they're sort of like a standard oem replacement for a muffler of the year it's a, it's a little bit louder but it's not loud at all it's it's pretty quiet you guys would have seen the video and it's not to my liking when we started up the blue car when we first got it that was pretty loud um and it's not too obnoxious it's more of like a that nice Subaru WX sort of sound, which is good. So that'll be coming off today. We're gonna to be working on that and we're gonna be throwing the new one on. Um, we also need to try to figure out this um, clutch slave cylinder issue. We bled it the other day, but it's not, um, it just feels like it's not fully engaging. So we're gonna to try to bleed the clutch again and make it all proper. And um, so I'll have to put the foot all the way down to the firewall to make it actually get into gear. Um, and that's me pressing it very hard to get it in there. So we're gonna to try to work on that make it a little bit better and make it a bit more um, responsive, I should say. But I'll give you guys a rundown on the car now. It's, it's every, we've been, I've actually been driving this car for the last two days and I haven't had a fault with it. Um, it's fully put together now. So the interior is all in. And I do have the ECU and everything out of this car into mine now because the paperwork that I have from this car, it shows that it had a um, a tune by STI tune in it from 2009. So obviously the spec B's come standard with the normal, obviously spec B2 with a little bit more um, grump in it, you know what I mean? And then you've got the tune by STI tune, which is obviously, there's a little bit more differences in there. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it is. Driving mine compared to the new ECU, you can feel the difference. I'm not sure what it is. There's a little bit more torque. The, the response is definitely a lot more um, instant. Um, so it's, 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 I like it, it's pretty good. At the moment, we're gonna be doing that. Um, but yeah, no, we haven't had, I haven't had any issues with this car. Pretty much just been driving around and doing all my um, shopping and that with it. Got a few bits and pieces for to sort of make all this stuff happen. Um, but uh, we did get a little bit of rain last night, so I'm really hoping that it doesn't rain today while we're trying to get all this done. It shouldn't take us very long, but this car is pretty much 90, 95% pretty much pulled apart, ready to go. It is on front caster wheels, so I'll pretty much just take the wheels off and uh, just throw a little uh, wheels on it there from Bunnings. Just pretty much allows us just to roll the car out, which, which works. I've done it a few times, so... If it works, you can't complain. Let's um, let's get started lifting this car up and taking this exhaust off and trying to measure up with this one here. We gotta cut it and re-weld a new flange on it to make it work, so let's get started. I've never tried these before. So my partner's dad showed me these things. So it's like a wrap fucking chain thing. And they just cut that within like, maybe like a minute, if that. Perfect, um, perfect square. That's clean, yeah. I mean, I'm sweating a bullet, but that's fine. <laughs> the old exhaust we're just seen over here. Um, we're gonna be 
throwing this back on there now. So this is all officially welded. So we had to cut a midsection on this and just weld on a new flange. Um, that sits exactly perfectly off the downpipe now, so it's all pretty sweet. So that goes there. Um, the old section was just a full old bit, so the old section is there. And, um, but yeah, the, we've got the tips mounted in there. We had it mounted in there before and it's sitting really good. This is my sort of style anyways, how it sort of sits out a little bit more. It looks, I don't know, to me it just looks better. When they sit flush and real far in it, just, um, it's, I just feel like it hides too much. Throw it in there and see if we can get a start and um, hopefully, hopefully it sounds pretty good. I reckon it'll sound better. We heard it from when it was on the blue car anyways and it sounded real good. Um, even even the father-in-law said he was like, yeah, you prefer this one anyway. So if he said something, then obviously it sounds better. So. We'll um, get this in here. Everything's fully done, the car's dropped down. I'll give it a fresh cold start. This is a cold start, proper cold start. No one's here, no one's, it's only 12, 12 o'clock. Far out, 12 o'clock. Yeah. Look at all, do its thing and see how we go. I'm gonna set this up back here and That's pretty good. It's definitely a lot louder, but it's not as loud. Yeah, it's fucking pretty loud. <laughs> I'm a fan. That's my sort of style. We'll go for a drive and see if we can just watch the idles come down. As it slowly gets warmer and warmer, it uh the idles drop further and down, so. Yeah, undid the battery because we had to weld on the car, so go through and pretty much set all this up again. Don't necessarily have to, but uh, I usually just use that anyways because that's pretty much just give you average, um, average I think liters per hundred k's, and then fuel consumption and acceleration. So when you give it a little bit of rev, it comes up, which is pretty cool. That's a factory sort of option, which is mad. So I'm gonna have to redo the channels again so I'll check all that and do that later we're gonna head off to CNJ Motorsport in Underwood now so I pretty much just come here today um, CNJ so um, I wanted to pretty much just have a chat to Kel so he's the owner here and pre he does all the tuning and everything um, I've done a fair bit of stuff with him previously before we've made a date for about three four weeks um, I'm gonna try to get as much as I can done to this car before we try to make that date. worst you know worst comes worst I have to push back the day and then we can make it happen um, so you know get a few other things done but I don't want to go any too much more crazy so obviously we've got the exhaust done one thing is I do want to try to source out a, a front mount intercooler there's a few kits obviously I can get you know AVO, Mishimoto etc etc it's all it's all time and money necessarily so I want to try to make something work whatever I can and then we'll go from there hopefully we can get all this bu done and buttoned up once we do all this then we can come back in we'll make it happen so if you guys don't know who they are so obviously cnj motorsport so this is them you know they're just right off here on uh in um, underwood so we can get all that done and hopefully we can make it happen we're here at the record so we ended up going to um to the um, cnj as you guys have seen before so we've pretty much we actually do have a booking date for that tune so we're going to make that happen as you guys can see the front bar on this is it's pretty trashed so i'm not worried about that that's actually going to get painted but the rear bar on this so when the the tow bar that was on it you guys can see that is that's that's 
caved in there so we're going to try to replace that in this rear garnish that's cracked so i'm going to try to get a reboot and luckily they have a full luckily they have a full car here the exact same color hopefully i'm about to check it now but it looks the exact same color and um hopefully they have a few other bits and pieces that we're going to try to grab if anyone's after um any pretty much spare um super parts ejs 207s 255 257s um hit up um super World. these guys have plenty of stock here in stock there's a two five seven by looks of it on the shelf there. Um, they've got a few two by SCIs, six, six, speed. six speeds. These guys have plenty of stock, man. It's I've been using these guys for the last couple of years in terms of getting a few motors and gearboxes and spare parts here and there. Um, they've looked after me well, and I'm, obviously, if you guys want to, if you guys um, mention my name when you guys come here, they'll hook you up with any sort of discount. Um, definitely make it happen for you. These guys, don't try to ask for a million dollars for um, their stuff as well. They've got motors, you know, motors here, pretty much 40,000 Ks on with, with proof as well. So, you know, these have uh, just pretty much, there's just motors on motors on motors. And then there's a few other ones over there on the still on the shelf. Uh, if any of you guys are actually Forby, Forby dudes as well, these guys are starting to wreck Forbers. Um, so if they do, you know, they've got wheels, they've got spare motors, etc. They've got flares for Rangers, Hiluxes. I'm not here to promote, but hey, you know, these guys have been helping me out for a long time now, so I'm more than happy to give them a shout out. And um, as I said, if you guys are after any sort of Liberty parts at all, these do have a fair bit of parts still here. This is actually what I'm going to be grabbing. I'm grabbing what's on mine. So this is actually the same paint coat, so it's perfect. That's not cracked. This rear bar is nearly not perfect, but it's um, a lot better than mine. If you look here, there's no tail bar marks or it was Bentley marked or anything, so I'm going to be grabbing that. These guys still have a bunch of GDWXs, um, G3s, Hawkeyes, Foresters, and here's a uh, three litre wagon, or actually sedan, sorry. See that front lip there? If someone doesn't come and get that front lip before I do, um, better luck next time, because uh, I'm pretty adamant that I'm going to try to get it if someone else doesn't get it. So here's a spare motor. This motor only has 160,000 on it. This is off a uh, um, Force XT. 2013 model so these guys have parts galore um, another G3 or not GD a GD WX STI it's got a full X-Force exhaust on it um, not a whole bunch of stuff you know what I mean but hey it's, they've still got a plenty of stock in 2 litre um, GT Liberty wagon full clean interior still so not be cleanish, but hey, what do you expect for being at a car yard? But um, there's still a fair bit of things here. So if anyone's anyone's after any stuff, feel free to message me. I can give you the address, or I'll um, put the address down below in the link. Um, so come and see these guys; they'll definitely help you out. They're um, as I said, they don't ask for a top dollar. Um, they'll they'll look after you. Found, which looks to be a genuine GC8. Just sitting here. I'm not sure. What it's doing, obviously it's got a bit of chip here and it's not, doesn't, it looks, doesn't look like fiberglass, but it looks like someone sanded it back to sort of prep it for, um, for paint, but it's not all that bad. It's, there's a lot of things here that, so these guys actually don't wreck Subarus anymore. They have all this stuff from when they used to be Subi World. They are still Subi World, but they do a lot of 4 stuff now, so. They're mainly trying to get rid of a lot of the stuff that's here. Specifically, you know, stuff like this, you know, boots with, you know, a 22 lookalike wing. And this actually does have the adjustable tabs on it as well. So, you know, they've got boots here. Um, there you go. Here's a um, G GD or G3 style STI wing on that boot. Um, they've got boots here. They exhaust for days. They've got. Plenty of stuff, plenty of stuff. So I don't know what happened to the audio on that one guys, unfortunately. Um, if you guys are after any parts whatsoever, the link will be in the description for these guys and their address and their phone numbers and names. Uh, but that'll be it for today guys, so we'll see you in the next video. Cheers for watching.